I loved his brutal honesty. There was a, a, an incredible interview that I did with him in Rolling Stone a few years back that was, that's always stayed with me as one of the most profound, succinct, unfiltered interviews I've ever read uh, from an artist. It was extraordinary. But he was just a phenomenal songwriter, phenomenal storyteller, and funny. Yeah, Merle's an inspiration to me. He was a guy that I grew up listening to, a guy that kind of uh, did his own thing. He, he kind of paved his own path and, and uh, left behind some smooth spots for, for all of us to kind of follow. I had the chance to meet Merle in uh, 2012 at a show in Cary, and uh, that's a moment I, I truly will never forget. So uh, glad I had the chance to meet him before he went on, but his legacy he left is uh, uh, it's pretty pretty grand. So I, I loved his music, you know. I, I... I, my grandfather used to sit outside and sing that over and over again, and I finally had to go out and figure out what he was doing. So he taught me a lot about Merle, and uh, I got to meet Merle a couple of times doing, you know, touring and stuff. And he's a great soul, and uh, his music will live on forever. He's, uh, country music does a great job of keeping legendary country musicians' music alive, and they'll do that. That's a tough one. I never met him. Uh, that's a very, very sad loss for the music community. One of the all-time greats. That was a that was a tough one to hear about.